Late field goal cost you a 10-7 win September 22nd against Waynesburg. Waynesburg, as you said, the offense struggled. Trey Marshall, 157 yards, 32 carries. Um, Salas from Moon Township had eight tackles. Uh, uh, Can uh, and Casey Nile had six uh, stops and five sacks, too, for the GT's defense. So five sacks, I mean, you can see why it was a low-scoring game, but it just wasn't meant to be, right? The, the game was played like six months ago, okay? we've. we've I just, well, why gotta I'm get hoping, people caught up? We, we haven't been here in two weeks. Up in a week. I mean, it, truly, what the story is right now is this is the first time we've been home since St. Vincent, and we played six games on the road, counting back to the last year. So, yeah, I mean, we're we're happy to be back here in Beaver Falls. I was kind of sad to hear that Steve Campus wasn't coaching at Bethany anymore. Yeah, he's yeah. doing very well. Uh, Seneca, Valley. Seneca Valley. Yes, he is. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, he had them playing back in the day. And uh, Bethany's a very, very good football team. Probably the most improved team in the entire league. They held W and J uh, to, to, a, to a low score and uh, lost by one touchdown. Bill Garvey is their coach, yes. and they lost to W and J 27-20. Again, the game is 3 o'clock this Saturday. Junior running back, Raekwon right out of Baltimore, really good at what he does in defense. It's Joseph Flasco of Wilmerding. He went to Penn Trafford High. Just a couple of names, but obviously this is one that you would like to win because it's homecoming, but it kind of keeps you in the driver's seat. Well, I mean, the bottom line is we want to win because it's the game this week, and we have to do it. we got to play well. One thing in this league that we have learned, and we learned the hard way, okay, the last time we went out as a team was this. You have to play well to beat. In any conference game, you have to play well to win. And we did some things not so well, and everybody was crying. So uh, to be able to change this on Saturday, you know, we, we got to put the best effort forward, and we just got to play ball. We got to come off the football. Real quick, do you think the pack this year is maybe a little bit more evenly matched? I, I, don't I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think. All I know is this um, we have got to play a game. I mean, there isn't a whole lot of margin for error for can't us. be all Trey either all the time. No, it can't. It really can't. And I think you're going to see some things uh, to help Trey offensively. I'm really happy about what we're doing with our defense. And we got a good young uh, field goal kicker. And uh, as soon as this guy plays next year, we're going to have one great punter. So Yeah, Zach Green, of course, shooting the video. He's a sophomore transfer. He played just a couple of years ago at Freedom. And, you know, even though we're talking about homecoming, Oak Hill Field Freedom, with one loss taking on my my wonderful friend I grew up with, Joey Greco and the Lions. It's good when these teams who've been down a little while, like Freedom since 04, to yeah. kind of get it going again. It's good yeah, for the it's, Valley it's good for football. Good. Hey, well, it's a feel-good story. I mean, they got, those kids have been playing together since they've been young, and they got a very good program. But I'll tell you this. I saw I saw New Brighton play Nishanik last week. It was the most complete game I've seen New Brighton put together since, and I told Joey this, good. since, uh, since maybe when they beat Beaver. That was that impressive. Wow. All right, anything else before we go? Homecoming. Just no, everybody, you everybody, everybody come. We, we, I, we need everybody here. We need a packed house. We need a lot of noise. we got to make this place special. It is special. See you next Thursday, folks. Have a great night. Homecoming, 3 o'clock Saturday. The tents are up. They're getting ready to celebrate at this faith-based institution, College Hill, Beaver Falls. It's Bethany. Please stop by. It is truly the best entertainment anywhere in Beaver County on a Saturday afternoon. And this site, it's incredible, folks. you got to see it this time of year to believe it. Come on home. Good night.